hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I generally don't know any more than you do about what the Honda Monkey Bike Overlander is going to look like. Cue the intro. <laughs> This adventure is supported by Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare, the number one garage keeping you and Helminghead on the road. Well, if you're new to this channel and you're thinking, what is he going on about? I'm basically about to set off on a Honda monkey bike and ride as many countries as I possibly can, aiming to ride one way or another the entire world. And I'm lucky enough to be sponsored, supported by a garage called Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare. And the guy that owns that's called Lee. And what Lee's doing is he is transforming my yellow Honda monkey bike into an overlanding country sucking beast and it's going to be something massively special custom something you've never ever seen before well at least that's what I've been told because I generally don't know any more than you if you've been following my socials and you've been following Lee's socials he's been sending me the same pictures of what you've seen the clips of sparks flying a man weldering a picture of the back of the bike and bits and bobs and he keeps phoning me up and he's telling me that he's been ordering parts from here and there and he's having this custom made but it's not arrived he doesn't actually tell me what any of this stuff is and he's spending his day chasing up where these parts are and there's a man doing this and a person and doing that and then he keeps saying to me I've got the satin black paint because when I dropped the bike off Lee's words were this bike would look amazing in satin black paint so he sent me a clip of rattle cans he's had delivered so I don't know what to <laughs> expect but what I do know is is it's going to be absolutely awesome and whatever he does is going to be next level now obviously we've seen him working on the engine with the clips that he's, he's sort of made now I want to be completely clear when I dropped this bike off and as you will see from the pictures the bike was in a bit of a sorry state but you've got to remember I've done a lot of things on this bike I've taken it off-road on the most dangerous green lane in the entire world it's ridden around the UK doing thousands of miles the piston rings needed to be replaced because it was burning oil and obviously that hadn't happened during the trip and it's just done loads. It's been at the top of Snowdonia and back. It's just been on an absolutely bonkers, bonkers time. And it was due. It was due to be looked after. But I never thought when I put out originally about is there a garage interested in helping me create this overlanding beast that Lee was going to go to the extent that he's going to. Because, again, I've not seen it, but it sounds like it's going to be absolutely awesome. So here's the thing. What I'd suggest is, is that you do pop over and check the links out in the descriptions and pop over and see Lee's Facebook page. It's Nightcrawler666, or there is a link down there. Most things are on there that's going on. Obviously, Ashworth Automotive as well. He's got some bits upon there, so go out and check both. But why it's super important to go and check out the page and also give it a follow so you get all of the updates as well is because Lee's obviously organising on the 22nd the big reveal of the monkey. Now, I'm going to see it with you. I don't get to see it before. I'm in exactly the same boat like I keep saying. So it's going to be a big surprise for me as well. So I'm going to be there. Obviously, the psychic's going to be there. And what Lee's got planned is that we're all going to meet there. The bike's going to be revealed obviously we're going to be filming it it's going to be really cool and then we're going to go out for a big group ride we get to ride together obviously again being filmed and just obviously meet as many of you as i possibly can and then we are going to be going back to his clubhouse where there's going to be food and stuff going on so he's arranged a proper event this is a proper cool day and everybody is invited and it's in january the 22nd and it is going to be at ashworth automotive but the time and all the other details please go over to these socials and check that out because i don't know it until he puts them on as well like i said i'm in exactly the same boat as you but i'm looking forward to it i can't wait because i just in the vision I've got of this bike, and because I keep getting these phone calls, it keeps changing. He keeps and he's chopped bits off. He's done things to the wheelbase. Then he goes, no, no, I've not, I've not, I've not. And then he's going, I've sprayed this black. And he goes, no, no, I've not, I've not, I've not. And I'm going like, well, what have you done to it? Um, 
I'm proper, proper excited. Then, of course, once we pick that, once that ride happens, I think it's around just over three weeks, and I actually set off on leg one, where I ride the entire length of France. And the other side of it is, is that Lee is going to be aiming to, hopefully, come on every single bit of the leg, because I'm going to be flying out and doing each country leg by leg. Lee's going to come out and join me on different bits. So, like I said, it's well worth following his stuff. His, his YouTube channel is really cool. There's loads of series of stuff that he's doing on there. And then, obviously, he'll be releasing his versions of stuff, coming out to meet me, riding with me and stuff. It's just going to be epic. But anyway, I can't wait to see everybody on the 22nd. And of course, the videos and stuff will follow up to do with me going over there, speaking to Lee, talking about all the stuff to do with his business. And of course, the big reveal shortly on this channel. I'm proper, proper excited. I can't wait for this.